Smooth Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a storage silo. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, this is it. This is the sword silo design that uh, uh, I'm gonna be showing you today. Uh, it's really not that hard. It's just some comparators going into lamps. And uh, so basically um, uh, this one's holding sugar cane now. So if I take some sugar cane and put it in the chest, of course this is temporary. If you'd have a s s uh, actual storage system built with this, I think you probably would have water streams or something. Anyways, take the sugar cane, go to here, and it's in here. It was 22 and it's now 31, so it's good. And these lamps just show you when it's full. So we know that this one's entirely full, this one and this one. It just works by uh, uh, detecting that the hopper up the back is full and then it turns on the lamp you can see there then the next level is like the way around then again and so on and so forth okay guys so there's really not much to talk about here so I think we're just gonna get into the actual build here are the items of course these are for the system and this these are items that i will we will use as decoration okay starting things off i'm gonna put in my decoration parts here like so now you take your chest you stack them up i i i have a setup for uh, eight chests, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And next to that, you take your lamps, like so. Now, going over back, you take your hoppers. You need to see, they need to face into the chests, otherwise, it won't go into the chests. And I left one extra for the top here. Mm. Let's start with the comparator. So, so this uh, can be very repetitive, but um, you start block on the side next to your first uh, hopper, comparator, block. That's all. Now you do it this on the same hopper, you shift click, place a wall block. Let's turn repeater. Now you shift click. You basically need to do something like this. Uh, it will be easier after you do it the first time, but for now it can be a bit harder. Now you can just shift it here, place it on the uh, next to the lamp in powder. Shift click, shift click, shift click. Comparator, repeater, repeater. Of course, the repeater is set to one tick, so you don't need anything else. Now, you shift click on the repeaters. Place a block. The last row. And you're done. Mm, and I'm gonna be honest guys, that is everything, and I'm just gonna add my decoration, and done guys. Uh, so we can test it by again taking a temp 
tray chest. Placing it here, let's say this one will be with filtered with spruce logs. Let's fill in the first chest and we take uh, our six st uh, a stack here. Close down. Uh, one thing, uh, when you're actually putting in the items, it also shows you to which chest it's putting it in. So this one right here. Flowing nicely. After it's done, the indicator will turn off. Bam. So... Yeah guys, uh, that was it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this short solo. And um, I uh, really do hope that it will keep your items safe in your storage system. I actually am uh, using this design in my survival world. If you guys want, I can quickly show you a sneak peek. So, uh, yeah guys, this is the survival world uh, I'm playing on it in my spare time. And as you can see here, the sword silo design the exact same one is here uh, i'm really proud of these walls i really like the homes and i'm planning on um put, placing some trap doors uh, with chains and flower pots on it so as a decoration <clears throat> up the top we have a blue eyes uh, water stream I was gonna place all the blocks. There's also an item filter here, there, and this third silo is for cobblestone. Um, sorry, third because uh, after mining all of this out with a hasty beacon, uh, it's really uh, a lot of stone. Uh, if you want more or you have any suggestions about this, leave a comment down below. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!